Welcome everyone. In today's video, I just wanted to talk about DYDX, uh, do a little review on why I think it's the best perpetual futures DEX within crypto. Um, and when I say it's the best, like there is no second best, there is only DYDX. Um, it blows everything else out of the water. And I've been using this for the past couple of months as like my main place to do trades. Um, I mean, I have accounts elsewhere, but um, because I'm from the UK, I can't access perpetual futures on a lot of these different uh, centralized exchanges and so that's why i've gone to dydx and i found the uh, experience here to actually be amazing and it feels like trading on a centralized exchange um, but you don't have to believe me you can go ahead and use this yourself um, i will show you a bit about you know how to onboard and how to actually start trading here and some of the numerous features that actually make it you know better to trade on dydx versus something like ftx um, and so as you can see here, I have a, you know, a, a few open trades. I'm trading Bitcoin, Doge, Solana, ETH, um, and Thorchain. And there's you know various different things that you can trade here. And remember, this is all perpetual futures. And there is a lot of volume that actually goes through um, a DYDX. So as you can see here, um, a few hundred billion on their Bitcoin and ETH pairs. We'll take, for example, um, ETH USD on... Um, Coinbase, you're doing about $251 billion in volume, and DYDX, you're doing about $215 billion. So, you know, similar numbers there. And in fact, I think more volume flows through DYDX than uh, FTX US on the EFUSD pair, and then Binance US, then KuCoin. And so, you know, there is actually quite a bit of volume actually going through um, on DYDX. One of the reasons why you'd want to come over and actually start trying DYDX is because they have a gasless onboarding promotion. So basically, if you've never used DYDX before, if you transfer at least 500 USDC as a new user, or at least 1000 USDC as an existing user, you get your ETH uh, gas fees paid for you. And so DYDX is built on Starkware. And so it uses like, you know, ZK Rollup Tech. Um, it's not quite the same, but you're still getting, you know, fast transactions and cheap transactions. In fact, on, on DYDX, all of your transactions are gasless. Um, so you have to deposit from either Ethereum mainnet or you can use something like Arbitrum as well. Uh, so if I click here on deposit, I'm just going to deposit, um, you know, the 24 USDC that I have. Because I've used DYDX before, I need to deposit at least 1,000 USDC and then um, I will get my gas fees paid for. But if you've never used DYDX before, it's completely free, right? And so I know a lot of you will have, you know, hangups about using this because it's on Ethereum, then it might be a bit more expensive. But if you're a new user, they actually pay for you to get onboarded onto DYDX. So if I just press this, uh, because gas fees are so low right now, um, I think I'm only paying about like, yeah, uh, $2.67, which really isn't a lot when you think about it. Um, but yeah, uh, gasless onboarding for, for new users, which is pretty cool. And in fact, you don't even have to onboard from Ethereum mainnet. You can onboard from Arbitrum. So if you go to orbiter.finance and then you can take your source from Arbitrum to DYDX and then you'll have to sign a couple of transactions, but you can onboard from, uh, you know, other layer twos as well. So you, you don't exclusively have to be onboarding from Ethereum. And if you wanted to avoid ETH layer one because of gas prices, then this is, you know, a good alternative for you. But just taking a look at the trading UI, it should be very familiar to those um, who have used, you know, a lot of these uh, perpetual futures DEXs before or even trading on centralized exchanges. You've got the classic, um, trading view chart here obviously you can add indicators uh you know bar charts uh different um charts you want to take a look at if you want to take a look at the daily versus one minute charts obviously you can do that as well and of course you have a couple other things you can look at the market depth uh funding and some details on like what you're actually trading here and so for the most part um i just use trading view as my sort of charting um, not the trading view here, but trading view on a different tab. And then I use DYDX purely just for execution. I really do like this details page. And I think, um, you know, more exchanges should, should do something like this to actually maybe educate you a little bit more on uh, what you're actually trading. I know for like uh, hardcore crypto degens, uh, you're not really going to care, but stuff like this, um, I think really matters when you want to onboard, uh, you know, regular people. And so you have uh, a lot of the classic stuff that you would expect on any decks out there. 
Uh, so market limit orders, and then you have a good amount of different stop orders here as well, which I'm uh, pretty happy about because I think a lot of perp futures DEXs for the most part lack a lot of these options. And so this is quite cool. Um, and so I just show you guys, you know, example of what it looks like to trade. And this is why I think DYDX is like the best perp futures DEX um, out there. And you'll see why. So if I just want to do, uh, let me just do a 1000 dollars worth of avalanche that I want to buy now of course you can change how much leverage see I can trade with uh, 5x leverage here I can buy a 69k position but let me just do yeah 1k so if we just take a look down here we can see the expected price price impact so zero percent price impact which is nice and then I'm paying a 50 cent fee and place market order and there we go I've gone long 50.4 AVAX we can see here my average open uh, net funding and then um, if you just want to close position you can do this press close position and then press it there how much avalanche that I want to sell or obviously you can um, you know customize the orders that you want to sell as well so I just want to sell everything let me just do that max close position amazing the order was filled like that there's no waiting around, there's no pressing confirm on MetaMask. It feels smooth, it feels easy, and the trades just go through uh, very quickly. And so for me, just being able to press, you know, how much I want to buy, and then just pressing the market order, and then having it come up instantly is actually just really good user experience. Like, for example, I've been using um, Perpetual Futures DEXs on Solana. Um, and a lot of the time, you know, if Solana isn't working properly, you know, those trades just don't go through. Um, and that's what's nice about DYDX is that they do all of this, like, you know, account abstraction. You can just go ahead, place trades, um, and they're gasless, and it just feels really easy to do. And the next benefit to trading on DYDX that I want to talk about is that they actually pay you to trade here. So this is my estimated rewards for this epoch which i think is like um, a month long span and so i've paid out you know 184 dollars worth in fees but because of my trading activity on dydx you know i'm receiving 93.82 dydx at the end of the month now each dydx token is roughly you know one dollars 47 and so i'm receiving about 133 dollars um, in DYDX tokens for actually trading on DYDX. And so if you are someone who likes to trade on, uh, you know, perpetual futures a lot, then it probably makes sense to start migrating some of your trading over to DYDX because it's, you know, you actually just get paid to trade there. So, you know, it makes a lot of sense, right? And so whilst I have paid $184 worth in fees, uh, I'm getting $130 worth back in DYDX tokens. And so it makes a lot of sense to trade here. And the last benefit of using DYDX that I wanted to talk about is fees. And it's actually cheaper than some of the centralized exchanges out there. So for example, um, your taker fees on DYDX is 0.05%. And that's if you're doing less than a um, million dollars in volume per 30 days. Now, if we compare that to FTX, you're actually paying 0.07%. And so for myself, someone who actually likes to do a lot of uh, market orders, and I don't like to put limit orders in the order book, um, I just want to get my fill like that. It's actually cheaper for me to trade on DYDX than it is on FTX. And so just to round this video off, I'll list again the benefits of trading on DYDX. So first of all, it's a no KYC perpetual futures DEX that allows you to trade with up to 20x leverage. Second of all, they have gasless onboarding, making it easy for new traders to go ahead and start using DYDX. They also pay you out in DYDX tokens to actually trade on DYDX. And lastly, the fees on DYDX are cheaper than other centralized exchanges out there like FTX, for example. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.